Hey everyone, I'm Mark Saltzman. Today we're taking a look at Google Home. This is Canada's first voice activated personal assistant for the home. You may have seen or read about similar products in the US like Amazon Echo and other Alexa powered devices or Apple's announcement for the HomePod coming in late 2017. But this is the first to debut in Canada, the first of its kind. It came out June 26 for 179 and it uses Google's many years worth of data aggregation and organization so that you can ask a question or give a command and get an answer uh, right away. So the idea is that hands-free, you could be busy in a kitchen like where I am right now, cooking dinner, and you want to ask a question or give a command or take control of your smart home gadgets, which we'll get to in a moment. So at its core, this is a speaker and microphone, and there's no local storage or hard drive. It's connected to the Google Cloud over the internet, so you do join your Wi-Fi, and uh, it uses that database that I referenced earlier. Again, we're talking 17, 18 years worth of collecting and organizing the world's information is Google's MO, and now you've got access to it at your fingertips, and it can be very personalized as well. So you uh, say a, wor a wake word, and that wakes up the product. So it's either, okay Google, good morning, <laughs> or you could say, hey, Hi, Google. Mark, it's good to hear you. Well, thank you. You could say, okay, Google, as well, let me just turn it down. It's uh, okay, Google, or hey, Google, and either of those two work. Um, you'll see the colored lights flash on top. It may be hard to see it in the bright room that I'm in right now, but uh, the idea is that um, you can also uh, verbally say volume at 50% or volume at 100%, or you can uh, dial it up with your finger. It's a touch-sensitive um, device. And by the way, if you don't want the it always listening, which it's not, not, only when you say the wake word does it now listen for your question or command, but uh, you can turn off the microphone altogether if you like. All right, let's go back to what this uh, product does, and I'm going to give you some examples of it. So uh, the first thing you could say is, okay, so hold on. Okay, Google, stop. It must have, you know, it was listening when I was talking, so it was giving me something. Uh, so how about when you first wake up, you can say, oh, you can set an alarm. You can say uh, the wake word and then say, wake me up at 7 a.m., by the way, if you want to put this beside where you sleep. But uh, why don't we start with, okay, Google, tell me about my day. And this will give you a look at hey, your day. Mark, it's nice to hear you. It is 3.50 p.m. In Vaughan, it's 63 and mostly cloudy. Today, there will be isolated thunderstorms with a forecast high of 68 and a low of 53. Okay, so it gives you the, the date, the time, day. weather, and some Here's news. Here's the latest news. And the you can news choose where you get your news today. from. So this is giving you NPR, Support but you can change it as well. The following message okay, Google, extensions. stop. So it'll give you uh, news that you can customize as well. You could, of course, ask for sports scores like, okay, Google, how did the Blue Jays do this weekend? We'll hear what it says. The Toronto Blue Jays are drawing with the Kansas City Royals 2-2 in the top of the fifth. Okay, so they're currently playing right now. You could ask for previous scores. You can say, okay, Google, who won the NHL championships in 2017? So you can ask for... On June 5th, yeah. the Penguins lost to the Predators 4-1. On June 8th, the Predators lost to the so Penguins. So it's going to give you a complete recap, but you On can June ask for the 11th, final the game. The Penguins beat the Predators 2-0. Okay, Google. Stop. Okay, how about you're doing homework and you want to get a little bit of help? You can uh, ask it some basic things like, Hey, Google, what's the square root of 729? Square root 729 is 27. So you can ask questions like that. You could say... Uh, okay, Google, what year was Canada founded? Canada was founded in 1867. You could say, hey, Google, how tall is Justin Trudeau? Justin Trudeau is 1.88 meters tall. You could say something like a definition. You can say, hey, Google, what is the definition for emancipation? Emancipation, the fact or process of being set free from legal, social, or political restrictions, liberation. You could say, hey Google, what does a horse sound like? This is a horse. <laughs> All right. Now, going on to music and podcasts and audiobooks, you can say something like, hey Google, 
Play me some Bob Marley. Sure, check out this Bob Marley radio mix on Google Play Music. This is new love. Okay, so it'll play you music. You can ask for a specific song, a genre, an artist or band. Okay, Google, stop. Um, you can ask pop culture questions like, Hey Google, how do you dab? According to WikiHow, tuck your head down. Next, tuck your forehead down towards the arm that is bent. I'm not going to do it for you. To your elbow area as if teaches you, you how to do it. Your sleeve or okay, Google. Off of your brow. Stop. So, um, so Google works with various smart home devices, as I mentioned. It can be something that you already have, like a Nest or Philips Hue, like, like a Nest learning thermostat, Philips Hue. These are the Belkin Wemo switches. So you plug anything into this, into the wall, like a coffee maker or a fan, and you can say, hey, Google, turn on the fan in the kitchen, that kind of thing. And it will uh, enable or disable this device, and it'll turn it on all by using your voice. You can change colors. You can do all kinds of different things. If if you have a Chromecast plugged into your TV, you can ask for content. You can say, uh, hey Google, play YouTube videos about guacamole on my living room TV. And it will play this for you and you can adjust volume with your voice. You can ask for a specific YouTube video if you like. Or there are partners like Netflix. You could say, hey Google, play House of Cards on Netflix on my bedroom TV. And it will know to launch Netflix and, and, start, and finish off where you started. It'll start playing from where you left off. You could say something like this. This is pretty cool. Okay Google, how much does it cost to fly from Los Angeles to Toronto tomorrow, returning on Friday? Round trip flights from Los Angeles to Toronto leaving June 26th and coming back June 30th start at $490. Pretty awesome Would stuff. Would you like me to track prices for the cheapest flight on those dates? No. You receive emails with updates. No, thank you. So, I'm so Canadian. No I'm saying thank you. You can ask her to tell you a joke. They're pretty bad, like bad dad jokes, like bad puns, such as, Hey Google, tell me a joke. This might make you laugh. What's a big dog's favorite pastry? A great Danish. Oh God, I warned you. Uh, you can um, have her tell you stories. You can set timers. Like if uh, I'm here in my kitchen, you can set, you could say, okay, Google, set a timer called chicken for 10 minutes from now. So it'll count okay, down. A 10 minute timer called chicken. Uh, there's Starting all this kind, all these kinds of things. As you can see, it's pretty much endless. And then finally, something my son discovered and has teased me about. You can ask about people, even myself, which is pretty neat. So, okay, Google, who is Mark Saltzman? Here is some information about Mark Saltzman. Mark Saltzman has reported on the high-tech industry since 1996 as a freelance journalist, author, speaker, consultant, and radio and TV personality. So that's pretty cool. So it pulls information from Google and so on and so forth. So uh, as you can see, there's quite a lot that Google Home can do, and they will layer on more and more services as it matures. Uh, in the U.S., you can order an Uber. I heard that works in Canada as well. Uh, in the U.S., it recognizes different voices. So if I say, Okay, Google, how long will it take for me to get to the office? It will give me a different answer uh, compared to my wife, for example. So it recognizes different voices, pretty cool stuff there, uh, and, and a lot more as you, can, uh, as, as you can expect as it rolls out. So again, it's called Google Home. It's 179. I'm Mark Saltzman. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.